Okay, to start off this look, I'm first going to use my Elizabeth Arden Advanced Eye Fix Primer. And that will just help the eyeshadow last longer, um, stick on the lid, and um, make it crease resistant. And now here is my goofy husband getting me all sidetracked forget what I'm doing and I am putting on my Maybelline uh, color tattoo 24 hour in edgy emerald and this is a uh, basically a creamy shadow and um, I put that on a lot of times when I really want a shimmery shadow to pop or maybe a matte shadow to pop just to add that extra little oomph behind it um, especially with the shadow that I have coming up next to put on it or after this one I should say um, now I'm going to do my crease uh, shadow this is a um, Lancome color design um, single shadow in pop of pink and it's a really bright kind of Barbie doll pink and I'm going to basically swish that right into my crease right above the color tattoo that I applied and just softly kind of blending that in um, Starting from the outer and working my way in, kind of doing like a smoky haze above the green. Um, it'll make more sense once I get in my last shade I'm going to put in. It'll make a good transition. But I basically want to get that pink in there before I do the shimmer uh, green shadow that I'm going to be putting on here shortly. Still just continuing to blend. Now, this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow in the world. I don't think there's an eyeshadow that I love better than this. And it is, like I said, absolutely gorgeous. And it's a really frosty, shimmery, um, minty, kind of tealy green. <laughs> and it's called Enduring Vert. And it's part of the Lancome um, Infinite Shadow Collection. So these ones you can use wet or dry. And it's kind of like a loose pressed shadow. Um, you can use it either way, which is nice. But I typically just keep it in the pressed form. I don't really even need to use it wet because if you use a cream shadow underneath as a base, it really makes it bold. Um, so I usually don't use it that way that too much. But I'm just patting that and pressing that right onto that cream shadow. Um, next, I am taking a Lancome Color Design Single Shadow in Miss Sweetheart D, which is a really deep royal purple and I'm taking a knockoff blending brush by <laughs> it's a knockoff of real techniques brush but I actually found this kit at Ross and I thought the kit looked actually really nice and the brushes really were really nice so it was like six bucks for the kit and it came with like four brushes and got lucky you know sometimes you find little cute, good little finds at Ross even if it's a knockoff and so I use that to push shadow into my outer crease especially that deep kind of royal purple. And now I'm going to take my Coastal Sense blending brush and start blending that off. And now you can kind of kind of see how that's blending into that pink that I put in the crease now. And this actually is one of my, I would call like one of my all-time signature looks. Um, I love colorful looks. I'm colorful makeup. I, I, I honestly do these kind of looks more often than I would say wear browns and golds. Uh, but I used to work actually for Lancome and um, they always had beautiful colors and could kind of let me be creative and um, design my own kind of application. So when I got um, started working for them, I started playing around with all their eyeshadows. And this is one of the looks I came up with. and. Every time I'd wear this this look to work, I would <laughs> nine times out of ten get a compliment, you know, or a couple different compliments on it because it was just such a pretty look and it's using cool tones and it's just it, it's to me it's kind of unexpected colors that are put together that actually look really beautiful. All right, so now I'm taking that Miss Sweetheart D purple and just putting that on my lower lash line, just on the outer third of the lower lash line. And I'm going to take that Enduring Vert to that Infinite Shadow. And I'm going to put that on the rest of my lash line from the inner tear tuck 
Ugh, I can't talk. Inner tear duct until it meets up with that purple and kind of blend it in. And I forgot to show it, but I am, of course, using my NYX Single Shadow and Whipped Cream, which is another favorite of mine. I use it every day. And I'm putting that bright white right into the inner eye to add even more brightness to the eye. And I'm going to add that to my brow bone as well. And I just love all these colors together. They just I think they all complement each other. Very colorful look. Alright, now I'm taking my Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold um, Kajal in light blue. And I'm putting that in my waterline. And it's kind of a nice little change in, um, it's not white, it's light blue, and, you know, sometimes white can come off a little harsh, and this light blue is, a, is kind of a way to get away with wearing such a light color in your inner eye, and it really widens your eye up and kind of makes it look even bigger. So now I'm taking one of my all-time favorite liquid liners, and of course it's Lancome Art Liner in Noir. And I'm going to do my typical winged liner. This time I'm not going to do as strong, but kind of a little bit what I would call a more subtle winged out liner. And again, I do a winged liner every day. I'm kind of boring like that. I'm stuck in a makeup rut in the sense that I do wing liner every day. I just, anytime I try a different style of eyeliner, I end up just fixing it and going to the wing the wing liner I just I can't my eyes look weird if I don't do wing liner I'm not stuck with it okay checking it out and then do just a little kind of touch ups and grooming make sure my brows are in place and I am going to now curl my lashes. I didn't really mean this to turn into one, but it's pretty much a long comb tutorial. Um, I'm using majority of long comb products, mainly because, like I said before, I did work for them. And just kind of happened that way, and it was more on accident. <laughs> Alright, so taking um, Lash Primer, their Sills Booster by Lancome. And it's going to help condition my lashes and actually it's going to make them come off a little fuller and thicker and help my mascara that I will be putting on last longer. I just always think it makes mascara look better when you use a primer. It is an extra step, but I always feel like it pays off. Now I'm taking one of my favorite mascaras right now and it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And it's a very volumizing um, mascara, but I, I think it really grabs a hold of each of my lashes. And, and even though it volumes, it, I feel like it even kind of flares them a little bit. Almost like kind of like that butterfly fanned out effect. That feathered, I guess. And I really like it. I was really impressed with it. Um, this, of course, is a sample size. I do plan on purchasing a big size here soon. And just trying to coat every single lash that I see, even the little baby ones. You know, it's important to get every single one. You know, if you don't have a lot of lashes, just coat every single lash that you have. And it will look much fuller. Now this mascara is the Marc Jacobs Lash Lifter Gel Volume. I'm using this on my bash, my bash, my bottom lash line. Um, just simply because the verdict I feel like is still out on whether I like that mascara or not. Um, I've tried it on my upper lashes and I'm just kind of like, eh, not sure how impressed I am with it. Now my Too Faced Melted um, Lipstick in Melted Peony, or Peony, however you want to say it. And I'm really liking this lip, I, should, I guess it's more of lipstick, not a lip gloss. Um, it starts off kind of shiny when you put it on, but as it kind of sets on your lips, it, it kind of goes more of a matte finish. Um, you can add a gloss on it if you like more of a shine, but 
it's a pretty long lasting lipstick I must say and I plan on purchasing more as soon as I can it's the only one I have but I kind of like this lipstick because it kind of it matches cool colors but it also you know if you put it with corals it somehow looks really great with those as well now I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian clay blush in doll face and it's a really baby baby doll pink not quite Barbie doll pink, but baby doll pink. I mean, it's what you would kind of picture on a porcelain doll. Mm -hmm. 